Have you ever felt like you're constantly on the move, but not really going anywhere? Like you're doing all the things, but something seems out of sync. You're checking all of the daily boxes, but for some reason you feel like you're not really making any real progress. My name is Andy, and today as we continue our 21 days of prayer and fasting, we're talking about spiritual alignment. Sometimes life can feel like it's pulling you in a million different directions. Work, school, kids, and oh yeah, that thing called a social life. And who even has time for self-care these days? <laughs> Misalignment is a slow process that seems like it came out of nowhere. And if you're not careful, it can leave you misaligned in your priorities. All of a sudden, you can confuse what is urgent for what is important. And that's a scary place to be. It's scary because it leads you to focus on what is temporary instead of what is eternal. Now, I don't know about you, but nothing gets my prayer life going quite like going to the chiropractor, especially when they're about to adjust my neck. I mean, if you've ever been to one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You're like, Lord, am I good with you in this moment? But whenever I go for an alignment, I always leave feeling so much better. That's because when your body is aligned, it allows the blood to flow to the areas that need healing. All the kinks are straightened out and it literally opens up a channel of healing. In the same way, when we are spiritually aligned, it allows the blood of Jesus to flow into the areas of our life that need healing. You may be timid at first because it requires you to stop and look in the mirror and adjust accordingly. But know this, healing is on the other side. We must be in a position to receive it. In Matthew 6, Jesus calls us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Jesus is telling us that if we put God first, everything else will fall into place. And much like a chiropractor adjusts our physical alignment, prioritizing God in our lives aligns our spirit with his purpose. It's a transformative, ongoing journey that brings peace and clarity amid, amid life's twists and turns. Before we jump into prayer, let me encourage you to embrace this alignment. I know alignment can be scary, but it will always be worth it. So take a moment to reflect on your priorities, ensuring that God stands at the center. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to be aligned to your word and your will, Lord. And if there's anybody listening to my voice today that's feeling like a, a broken piece, Lord, I just pray that you remind them that they are a part of a beautiful mosaic picture that you are orchestrating, Lord. So reveal what you need to reveal in us today, Lord, as we align and put you in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen.